day was full of death. I watched a vulture peck at the eyes of a dead soldier. It could have easily been me. All I could think is, is I'm going to die here. Riding down these booby trap roads, it ain't no feeling like it. You just hope that when you drive over an IED, it, it don't go off. Hopefully, you know, it's raggedy. And you, you, you hope that the V absorbed the blast. If it don't. These guys we fighting, they different from us. Not genetically, but morally. We fighting the same battles, but different wars. The V's that don't make it, we take their scraps and put them on ours. Bring pieces of them back from the dead. We call them Frankensteins. I keep getting lucky, but how many times will I get lucky though? All I could ever think is that this place is going to kill me. And I got a wife. And it's crazy that, you know, that our soldiers get married so young and so quick. I guess being here, you know, make you, it makes you want somebody that you know is thinking about you every day, all day. I got a baby and, a, and another one on the way. And, and I almost feel guilty about it. It's one good thing about being here, though. It makes me pray. And I never prayed before I got here. The mood here is always the same. Only quick laughs and smiles when we check to see if everybody whole. And I still remember when I first got to the unit, nobody would talk to me. Nobody wanted to get to know me. And now that I've been here for a while, I don't blame them. This ain't what we signed up for. It is, but it ain't. My life and mental health is worth more than $27,787. But, you know, at least, the, at least the evening news say we winning, right? It don't make my family feel any better, but it makes America's families feel good. So I guess that's... That's the greater good. The crack of dawn unit didn't come back today. Somebody gonna have to replace them. It could be me. I keep having dreams of this lady. Walking through my head. Her feet. Just digging up in my brain. And I don't want to say her name, but I know who she is. The muzzle monkeys were getting lined up. 
They said they're going to use some old school psychological warfare tactics. They're going to bombard them all night long. <sighs> all that noise. All that noise. They trying to find a leader, you know, get him to give himself up. But personally, me, I don't think they gonna break. So we had the rendezvous to get supplies today. I'm kind of worried about it, but you know, I don't have nobody I can talk to about it. You know, and the V was filled with Willie Pete, and you know I don't know where we going. Uh, I kind of zoned out during the briefing, and this ambush came, and uh, all the shooting and the and the bombs it it set the Willie Pete off, and I watched my brother burn. But I couldn't get to him. I watched him burn. And I could have tried, but you never felt heat until you felt that heat. And by the time I got my, my head on straight, they was closing in. And back up, we radioed for them to Gunfights. It ain't like the movies. It's inch by inch, bit by bit. You know, you don't pop out of cover like Stallone or Schwarzenegger. You peek out just enough to barely see what you're shooting at. Base hit me back. Told us to sit tight. The birds was a few mics out. The soldiers who shooting at us, they probably wondering why we ain't giving them all we got. Why we doing just enough to keep them on ice. I know they wonder. Here they come. Here they come. The smoke nades keep us safe, but everything else and everybody else, they don't stand a chance. And bombs and, and bullets don't discriminate. And the buildings around us, and the people in them, it don't matter. It's not fair, but it's war.